is a hypocrite and liar. Josh Hawley is an embarrassment to all Missourians. His line of questions during the Senate confirmation hearing was disgusting and disrespectful. I would like to express my concern not only for Missouri voters of whom he betrays every day, but I want to also express my concern for his wife, Erin. How is she supposed to reconcile his lack of integrity as a Christian mother raising children? How is she supposed to reconcile being married to Josh Holly? He has no morals, he has no integrity, and the history, history will record him as a horrible human being. Horrible. Aaron is a Supreme Court attorney, married to a guy that doesn't respect the Supreme Court nor does he respect more than 86 judges across this country. They rejected the post-election lawsuits filed by Trump lawyers contesting the results of the 2020 election. There was no fraud. This man, Josh Hawley, helped to incite the January 6th mob sedition and treason against the U.S. Capitol. Now he's attacking a black female, the most qualified Supreme Court nominee in American history. My message of concern today is for Missouri voters who married him with your votes and for his wife, Erin Holly, as well. You both married a horrible, I mean a horrible human being. I'm Coffee Wright, and that's right, I said it. I'm running for United States Senate for Missouri. We all matter, family. We all matter. There's another human being that's just as horrible, and that's Eric Greiden. Here is a person who tied up a person that he was involved with, or I should say allegedly then. And then allegedly his former wife has accused him of being a child abuser. Yes. That's another horrible human being. And so, and domestic violence. So it's just key and critical that Missourians wake up to the fact, unless you like horrible human beings, to be over key policy decisions that impact all of our lives. Last but not least, we are at the edge of an historic moment. We challenge all the United States senators to do right as it relates to historical moments. One historical moment was with uh, Thurgood, Jar uh, Thurgood Marshall being elevated to the Supreme Court. Another historic moment was when Sandra O'Day Connor, as a female and the very first female, mind you a white female, who received 99 a unanimous vote. I didn't make mention Thurgood didn't receive a unanimous vote. He received a close to 30, 61 votes of confirmation. Mm -hmm. And the last historic moment was uh, the sister, uh, Santa Mar Maria, who uh, also was made history as the first Latino yeah. Supreme Court nominee. And she did not receive unanimous votes. She around 60-some votes also. Out of 100 United States senators, only three are black and none are of black female. That needs to change. That is showing America that black women cannot be trusted or qualified to sit at the table, which is definitely untrue. We are 15% of this United States and we deserve to have a voice at the table. Some say if you're not sitting at the table, then you're on the menu. We have to be at the table because everybody has to eat. So thank you again for coming out. I'm looking forward for your support, and I thank the almost 50,000 supporters who voted for me in 2018. I'm asking you to come back and cast your vote again, and this time bring five people with you. I'm Coffee Wright, and that's right, I said it. That's right. Last but not least, Holly is a hypocrite. Holly is a hypocrite. And liar. And liar.